All right, my Steve Smith collection has gone down the rabbit hole, uh, as you probably saw some of my other collections. Um, but, you know, Steve Smith is, to me, the uh, the greatest test player of this generation. And I really wanted to make sure that I was getting uh, getting some of his key cards. And as I started getting some of them and finding out about others, I've just uh, kind of continued down that path. So uh, here's what I'm going to do here. I've actually got them lined up by year. I'm going all the way to the bottom here. And, uh, and I'm just going to run through these really quickly. I think it's probably going to take about 10 minutes or so, but uh, hopefully worth the time. Uh, there are some very, very rare uh, and awesome cards in here. So uh, I'll talk through those a little bit. So to start with, this is this year's Trader set. So this is the Australian um, CA Traders. And uh, and to me, you know, I know everyone wants the uh, autograph cards, but to me, this is, uh, this is what I think is most cool and uh and special these black diamonds are only to 28 and uh there's a ton of them so you know basically the whole set they also make the black diamond version and uh those are just really really cool cards um these are called mojos they have each each year it's a different mojo so you got the the ruby the emerald the black diamond um and uh yeah, so it's it's pretty cool, and, and this one's Sapphire. So I got both of these this year, which I feel pretty lucky about. There's uh, There's been some folks looking for those. Um, this is another one that's hard to get. These are the uh, the insert out of 40. So the, there's a, a few different varietals of, of this card. So uh, this is the one out of 40 that is gold with the gold flakes. There's also the one out of 147. Um, that's also gold, and then there's the black, which is not uh, not serial numbered, but um, you know those are all pretty cool, and you can see the difference uh, between the regular gold and the and the one with the gold flakes. And yeah, I was lucky enough to get number forty out of forty, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, likewise, there's different uh, variations of this team of the tournament. This is the uh, the rarest one out of fifty, so I picked up one of those. There's also um, the one out of 150, and then there is, uh, this guy, which is not numbered, and then there's the, uh, the bronze out of 325, but not serial numbered, so got a couple of those, and then, um, you know, as I was making some deals, um, this is the base card, this is the ODI base card, and then this is the parallel um, so there's, you know, one of these parallels in each pack. Um, so those are pretty cool. And then uh, this is the test version. So this is the base card of the test. And this is the test uh, parallel. There's this other set called Season to Remember. And uh, there's actually three cards uh, to complete the little mini set for each team. But the Steve Smith is the middle card uh, for the Sydney Sixers. Um and then uh, there's the International Series, which there's a test and a, um, so you can see that one's the test. And then this one is the, um, the uh, is this ODI? No, this is test as well. But I guess this is the, uh, just a, a special one, but I'm making an unbeaten 200. Uh, so uh, there is a parallel version of these that's a case card that I have not picked up. I would like to get one of those though, but um, that's, mo that's most of the inserts. There's a couple variations in here that I don't have, but um, I've been really trying to target all the different Steve Smiths. Um, it's fun to collect them all. So, uh, so that's been, been pretty fun. So from 2022, um, I do not have uh, either of the uh, Mojos yet. So, you know, if you have one of the uh, the emeralds or the, the two here that I'm missing, so I've got four of the eight, and I'll just maybe take one step back. So there's two black diamonds this year, the ODI and the test. There's also an ODI and the test from 2022, that's the green. There's the ODI and the test from 2021. So I'm missing the test from 2021, and I'm missing the ODI from 2020. So overall, I've got half of them, uh, which is not too bad for my first year of trying to get them. So hopefully in the next 12 to 18 months, I can find the four that I'm missing. Um, so this is the uh, the most rare one from the uh, the 2022 set that I have. This is the, the Blasters version out of only 34. So I was glad to get that one. Um, 
then I don't I don't have a ton of other nice uh, inserts from last year. Um, this is just the uh, the parallel of the test squad. This is the base for the test squad. This is the base for the uh, T20 squad. And then um, there are these cards that are the uh, T20 test champions. And then he's got this one. It's almost the exact same picture. <laughs> like if you look at it first, it almost looks like the same photo or the same card. But um, sure enough, this is the Ashes champion. He does have a, a different shirt on and I guess slightly different hair. But otherwise, it's like a mirror image of the same shot. Um, also from 2022, I managed to pick up um, this autographed. Um, this is the T20 squad. Uh, and then this is the test squad base. And then this is the T20 squad base. So I've got three signed cards from uh, from last year. In 2021, I've got the ODI squad. And this one was out of 30. So remember in, in 2023, they're out of 28. They were only out of 30 in 2021. And I'll just jump ahead. In 2020, they were out of 40. So they've gotten harder uh, harder to get or more uh, more limited as, uh, as the years have gone on. Um, but yeah. Got that one. Really nice card. Happy to pick that up. Uh, this is a nice insert, the Centurion, which I think these were one out of every 36 packs. You'd get one of these, and there was nine of them in the set. So, you know, to try to get the uh, the Steve Smith, you'd have to get really lucky. About one out of every 300-something packs. So you got two copies of those. Um, and then they had these caricatures. So there's several different versions of this. Uh, there's a black version out of 75. I don't have that. This is the one out of 175. And this one is not serial numbered, but it's limited to 310. Um, and then again, parallel and base for both uh, the test and uh, ODI squads. Moving down to 2020. So uh, again, this is the uh, the Ruby here out of 40. And then again, I don't have a ton of different inserts. I did pick up some of the... Um, the parallels and the base, uh, but I think that's pretty much it for that, other than I've got a parallel um, test squad card signed, which is cool. All right, now I'm moving to 2019. Um, I was really happy to pick this up. I got this uh, in the mail today, actually. So this is serial number to 100, um, and uh, you know, it comes with the redemption card as well so that was really nice to pick up um, but actually that's not as rare as these so there's two different um, player of the match cards here and these ones are only to 50 so um, these came in sets this was set number 20 out of 50 uh, that both of these ones came from so I was really happy to pick those up those are not not easy to find. I've heard they're very hard to find now because um, it's been a while. And Steve Smith obviously is popular, so um, you know you're not going to get um, a ton of those. Just people hanging out, not trying to get rid of them. And then these are the base cards. I actually don't have unsigned versions of the base cards, but these ones are the uh, signed 2019. All right. Uh, as far as I know, there was no actual 2018. So um, moving ahead to 2017 here. Um, I just love this card, um, and even the Redemption is just a really beautiful card. Um, and this was a, a little bit higher number, so this was to 200. This is number 87 out of 200. Um, and also out of 200 was this um, uh, medalist, Compton uh, medalist card, player of the series. And uh, the Redemptions were out of 100, so I... <laughs> I finally got schooled on how this worked. Um, the winners here would have been a hundred of these wild cards. So everyone with the wild card would get the Steve Smith. You would have gotten whoever was the winner. And then whoever had the Steve Smith predictor also, that would have been out of a hundred. And you would have ended up with uh, this card either way. So that's how you get to there being 200 copies. And this is serial number 22 out of 200. Um, I think this is a really cool card. I picked up a few copies of this because I just really liked it. This is the portraits, um, and this is out of 250. So there you got 74 and 53 out of 250. But yeah, really sharp. Um, I really like the look of that card. And this one is cool. Um, I don't know what happened with this one. If anyone knows, let me know. It does not have a serial number. It just says limited to 250. So I'm guessing that this is probably a like promo or sample version. 
Uh, if that's true, let me know. Uh, I don't know if those are, you know, a lot more common or, or rarer than the ones out of 250, but I always like catching uh, the variations uh, when I can. Uh, this is a really great card. I don't think it's super valuable. I think they have them on eBay for like 15 bucks or something, but uh, Joe Root and Steve Smith, uh, who are going to go down as two of the very, very best test players of this generation. So getting them all both on one card is pretty neat. Um, you know, this is the, uh, the foil national pride card, um, the base, uh, ashes card. Um, here's the international T20. Um, so most of these are just base cards. Uh, I do have a gold of this one and I actually really love the way that they did the gold. It's very subtle. Um, you know, it just kind of pops between the base and the gold. You can see the gold on the left. So I really like that. Um, also from 2015, so I think really all of the cards up until now have been Australia issues. Uh, but in 2015, Steve Smith had some Cricket Attacks cards. Um, or sorry, I'm, guys, I'm this is 2017. Uh, 2017, Steve Smith was in the Cricket Attacks uh, base set. He also had uh, silver, and these were issued in India. And he had a, uh, a gold uh, centurion. So, uh, so I've got all three of those uh, Indian um, cricket attacks cards of Steve Smith. All right, 2016. I don't have a lot to show for 2016, but it's really interesting how they have the base, the silver game card, and the gold. Uh, three different variations of these. And the silver game card is a little different on the back um, because it actually has a, uh, this is the silver one. It's got that little uh, code on the back. Um, and uh, I'm guessing that was for some kind of uh, some kind of uh, game that you'd play, um, hence the name Silver Game Card. But, um, but yeah, I've got, I've got a bunch of those. Uh, there you've got the base and the golds. And what I've actually found is I think I have more of the gold than the silvers, and I'm not sure why that is. If anyone knows, were there actually more golds than silvers or were most of the silvers redeemed? I don't know. Um, and then this is a 2016 cricket attacks from India uh, again um, when Steve Smith was playing in the uh, IPL. All right, now this is actually one of my very favorite cards. This was a commemorative card issued when Steve Smith uh, scored 215 runs in the Ashes against England. Um, and this reminds me of the, the Lara 375 card. Uh, and remember, the Lara 375 had uh, 375 copies issued. You would think that this had 215, but it's actually only numbered to 100. Uh, and this is the promo version. So I got one of those, which I thought was pretty neat. But I picked up uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of these just because I really, uh, I mean, I just think it's a super cool card. Um, and they're all hand numbered on the back. So uh, you, know, you can see 57, 76, 80, 84, 91. And then I have obviously the one I just showed, which is the promo version. So I've been kind of just collecting these as people have them. Um, I've been picking those up because I really like them a lot. And I'll just jump ahead to this one, which is the signed version. Um, and that was number 14 out of 100. So yeah, I've been pretty happy um, picking those up. So I guess I've got a pretty significant portion of the 100 that were issued at this point. Um, this one here is another uh, pretty rare one. This was only limited to 175 copies. Unfortunately, not serial numbered, but definitely hard to get. The Superstars one also is very limited. Uh, it doesn't tell you how many copies, but I don't think there were more than a few hundred of this one issued as well. Um, so that's a really nice one. Those are pretty hard to find in the packs. And then again, you know, the base cards. Um, let's see what we got here. Here's the silver version. So again, you've got a silver version with, uh, this one does not have a coat on the back, and then the gold version. And then, uh, you know, you've got your international T20 version, uh, gold as well. And then, you know, an another gold version. This one's with his uh, Big Bat League uh, BBL team, the Sixers. And uh, cool. So that's the Australian ones I have. And then this one is an Indian issue. This was issued in a game pack called the Battle Trump game. Um, so uh, Steve, Steve Smith's in there. There's a bunch of good players in that set, Rock Coley and others. Uh, this is his 
2015 uh, World Cup, also from India. This set's pretty hard to find. Um, and these are, the 2011 and the 2015s are the hardest to find Indian cricket attacks cards. So I was happy to grab two of those. And then this is his uh, top trumps, which I think these were issued in, in, uh, in England. Um, and I've actually got two signed copies uh, as well, which is cool. So yeah, so happy to get those. Uh, now going back to 2014, we're almost done here. Um, unfortunately, I wish I had a lot more Steve Smith, but uh, I'm still working on my collection here. Those are three of the, just the base cards, and I did get one of those signed, which is nice. This is a 2012, uh, so one of his earliest cards. And then these are his very earliest cards here. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the 2008 speed uh speed blitz blues the new south wales blues look at that face and this is his first ever card um i don't know if you call this a rookie card i think most people would but it was only issued in uh in and around new south wales blues uh matches i think only in team sets so not a traditional you know pack release or uh or a national release much less an international release so uh, you know very limited regional release um Probably his, you know, his earliest and, and most desirable, quote-unquote, rookie card. He does have this from 2010. This will be his next card, along with a select card out of 200. Um, so, you know, if you were really looking for his first card that was distributed in packs uh, or distributed more widely than just in uh, around a, a local team, this would probably be it. And then in 2011, so around the same time as this, maybe a little bit later, this is his um, first ever Cricket Attacks. This was the inaugural uh, attack series um, from 2011. And these are, these are quite hard to find, especially in this kind of condition. Usually they'll be all wrinkled up and stuff. And I was happy to pick this up this week. This is the autographed version of that 2010. So, um, yeah, really happy to add that to my collection too. So there you go. That's my Steve Smith collection. I was thinking 10 minutes, I'm seeing 17 here. Uh, so definitely a lot to go through. Hopefully um, you learned something, would love to hear uh, your thoughts. Are you building out a collection uh, similar to this? Um, how do I fill in the gaps now? That's gonna be the biggest thing. I've got four more of these mojos to get and uh, you know, still looking to fill out the rest of my collection as well. Would like to add more of the new South Wales Blues cards as well. Thanks y'all.